Hey, Chi Mama friends. We are back with another yummy recipe. It is mid-April outside and it is snowing. A lot. That's crazy. That's crazy. And it should be warm and hot right now. It should be warm and hot and beautiful. So we are cooking up a healthy quarantine snack that is going to be ready whenever you go to the fridge. So you don't even have to take time to make it every time you want it. You can just make it up whenever you have a couple minutes, throw it in the fridge, and it'll be ready whenever you want it. How's that sound? Good. Good. I haven't even told Ellie yet, but we are going to make peanut butter cup pudding. Whoa. Whoa. So we're going to make it with chia seeds. So you probably already heard of chia seed pudding, but usually it's pretty plain and bland. We are going to make it pop today with some chocolate, with some peanut butter, with some maple syrup. We're going to make sure it's all healthy. And just adding chia seeds alone is going to do wonders for your body. They are so good for you. They are loaded with omega-3s, which are really going to help boost your immune system. Make sure that you can fight off anything coming your way. So, you ready to get started? Yes. Okay, we started out with two cups of milk. I'm making two helpings because I have a family that could easily go through both of these just for breakfast tomorrow. So I'm making two helpings. So we started with two cups of milk. You can put all this stuff in any order you want. The only thing I will recommend is put your chia seeds in last because they can get really gummy. And if you try to mix everything else in while your chia seeds are already in there, you can kind of get a gluey mess and it's, it's just not very fun. So we started with our two cups of milk. We are going to put in about a quarter of a cup of special dark 100% cocoa powder. It's unsweetened. It's good I for love you. Chocolate. Oh, me too. You know what I really like? Tell me. Chocolate milk. Mmm, chocolate milk. For anybody who missed that video, highly recommend going back and checking it out. So we're going to put in about a quarter of a cup of our cocoa powder into each two cups of milk. How's that look? Delicious. Pretty good? All right. Can't look. Can't even look at it? Nope. <laughs> Too much. All right. Now we're going to go in with just some flavor booster ingredients. We've got some vanilla. I'm going to add about two, ta two teaspoons to a tablespoon of vanilla. Bloop. Bloop. And... Oh, look at the vanilla right Can you here. see it? Yes. Yeah. Separating. This is a nice little science experiment for you new homeschool people. Nice science experiment to talk about densities of different ingredients. So now we're going to put in just a pinch of salt in each just to bring out that really sweet flavor and enhance it. Okay, now we are going to go in with some pure organic maple syrup. I'm going to do two or three tablespoons per jar. Oh the syrup. Isn't that yummy? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then call that good. Now, there we go. Now, we're going to go in with our peanut butter. So I'm going to do the peanut butter two different ways just to show you guys a couple different options. I love so, peanut butter. Me too. So, we have our... Oh, almost out of oh we're almost out. Oh, no. So if you watched our condiment video, you see that we make our own peanut butter. Super healthy, super yummy. I'm just going to throw in three tablespoons of peanut butter, which pretty much finishes it up. So that means that we better be making more soon, right? Right. Okay. So three tablespoons of whatever your favorite nut butter is. Hey, Mom, we need some in here. <gasps> but that's the twist. So in this jar, I'm going to use peanut butter powder. I don't know if you guys have ever worked with this, but it's great stuff. It does have sugar in it, but it is coconut sugar. So as much as we want to stay away from sugar, if you're going to go for sugar, if you want a little bit sweeter taste in your pudding, go for this. It's got coconut sugar, which is still good for you. It's not processed. Um, and again, I'm going to go in with about three tablespoons, same as just regular. So this will give you a little bit sweeter flavor just because it's got that coconut sugar in there. Still good for you. Still not going to have anything processed. So now, so we've added everything in except for our chia seeds. Uh oh. What? My spoons is gonna get yucky. Well, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> it's okay. We can wash it. <laughs> so we're gonna mix all these up quickly and then add the chia seeds in at the very end. Good. Yeah. All right. We are all mixed up, ready to add our chia seeds. We're gonna add about half a cup per. So, I'm going to eyeball this. That looks about right. 
and that looks about right. So, again, mix these in really well. Shouldn't be too hard now that everything else is mixed thoroughly. And now, you pop these in the fridge probably for at least eight hours. I typically go overnight, but at least eight hours. This will set up beautifully. And then tomorrow morning, we will be having peanut butter cup pudding for breakfast. And it will be super healthy. The microbiome of your gut will be thanking you, and you will be feeling good for the rest of the day. Right? That so yummy. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll let you know how this turns out. Please let us know how it turns out for you guys. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like and share it with your friends. And thanks so much for your support. Have a happy, warm weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.